Hey pals, welcome to Menace Meadows. This is a new series slash old series that I'm going to be reviving in the steampunk mod pack. This is also going to be in hardcore mode, as you can tell by the skulls for health points. This is such a beautiful spawn we've got going on here. We've got some alliums that we're going to pick up a few and, you know, we'll grab some grass. Oh, we got some industrial hemp seeds. So this mod pack is going to have quite a bit of things that I'm not familiar with, but also things I am familiar with. That's why I chose it. And as it's a steampunk vibe, I thought I would use my steampunk outfit, which I've made for the Paltopia world, which you should see on my streams. Now let's get started by getting some wood. Oh, that's fun. I'm, I've played this mod pack a little bit and there's some things I remember. I did not remember that it did that with the leaves. It is very handy dandy. I've just also got to remember that in case I am planning on getting any leaves of sort, I'm going to have to get the leaves before the trees. Now one thing I do want to do is I want to set up in a village because I want to revive it. I kind of want to make it look a bit cooler. I want it to fit the steampunk vibe and also villages are very handy. There is a big building over here, which should come in handy. I'll get this wood as well real quick. Um, but I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be a village or if that's going to be some sort of dungeon. But we're going to go over and like explore it from a distance, I think. I don't really like going too much through the wood age. I kind of prefer to upgrade to stone as quickly as possible. So I've just gotten myself a pickaxe so I can do so and we'll just quickly get some swords and stuff and then we'll check out that little house thing, barn, whatever it is. Okay, that should be plenty of stone for now. So let's just make a few tools. Um, we're gonna need to get a couple more sticks. Okay, so we're gonna want a pickaxe. We're gonna want an ax and we'll get a sword. And then we'll put those into slots one, two, three. Um, I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but I did it anyway. We've also got this quest book, which will, over time, we'll be going through a lot of different quests. As you can see, there's quite a bit to go through. Um, looks like we have actually completed a quest. Oh, it's just start your journey. Now, we could get the normal reward or the hardcore reward. I know the hardcore reward sucks, so we're going to go with the normal one, even though we're playing on hardcore mode. We're also going to complete that one, and we're also going to get some leather, which should help us get a backpack eventually. Yes, four leather. That, that, that should be fine. We just now need to get some string in a chest. Okay, we're going to head over to this building now, and we're going to find out if it is part of a village or what's going on with it. Minimap is also showing me that there is... Oh my god, there is! There's raccoons around here! Awesome! Awesome. Okay, we can get those as pets eventually. But for now, let's go see what's go- Oh, I can already see a pillager over there. What the heck? What, what's- I, I can crawl just by pressing alt. I- No. Yeah, by pressing alt. Okay, that might not be the smartest thing to do right now as I have no armor whatsoever. So we're going to run away from that. That is also probably not going to be a smart idea to go towards. So how about we- Let's just have a quick look at our map. It might give us a general idea of things that are around us. I'm going to go north because that's either there's either a village over here or there's going to be some stone. Now using the map is can be seen as somewhat of a cheat, but also it's just a part of the mod pack. So I assume that it should be fine to just check that out. If you think otherwise, please let me know. I've been trying to figure out which way I want to go with the Metis Meadows series. I was going to originally just do like a some sort of survival series in a mod pack. And then that just felt like too simple. I felt like I needed to do something extra. So that's why I introduced the hardcore element. And then I was going to do this extra thing, which was going to be a different mod pack for every single time I died. But that would encourage me dying. Oh, yep, I was right. This is nothing. But I am seeing some... Oh my god, a lot of cows over here. Oh, this is a... This is a lot of cows. Oh my god, okay. Um... If, you're, if you don't like the death of cows, like one of my, my friends, Eco, um, look away now. Okay, these guys are going to be mean. I'm going to be mean right back. That one wasn't actually as mean. I feel bad. I kind of just killed a defenseless guy. Now I need to find some sheep really quickly because the, the sun is setting. I, I'm going to head over this direction and hope for a sheep. Just get away from all those cows and then something like should spawn, hopefully. I don't know, I'm terrified. There's also this weird little, like, stony area. I'm scared. And take the skeleton skull, though, because those are pretty rare. Oh, 
Oh. I'm going to keep this on just for a moment until I kill a sheep. Hello, sheep. You are saving the village... Not the villagers. You are saving the viewers from a terrible thing. Oh, wait. Can I... Cosmetic armor. Ah, there we go. So now it looks like I'm wearing the skull, but I'm not. Okay, nighttime in hardcore is terrifying, so we really need to find something as soon as possible so we don't die. And we also need to find a little area where we can set up shop and cook up some meat. Oh, there is a zombie there. Sick do, zombie. Okay, it looks like there's something I can maybe take over or set up shop in quietly over here. Is this a, is this a whole castle? No, it's just a big old building. Hello? Is there anything in here? Ooh. Not good at picking up things as you can see. Oh, it stayed in there. I thought my wood would return to my inventory. Okay. Gray bed. Okay. We can sleep the night away. Okay, that is day one of our hardcore world already done. Um, what is, there's some things in there. Okay, there's got a bunch of create things going on here. I think I'm gonna take that jar. We need string so we can make a backpack. Does this bridge, I could have just swam and it would have been probably quicker. Okay, let's head through this forest and hope for a village, because that's that's where I want to set up, a village. Villages are very- Oh, there's a village down there. I, I used my- Is that? Wait. Go away. Ah, right, go away! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. This is even cooler than finding a village. Oh my, it's like Hal's, like, not moving castle. It is just a castle. Oh my gosh, and there's like an abandoned house here. This could probably be where I fix it. I could fix this up and this could be my house. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm going to die of silverfish. I'm actually going to die of silverfish. That would have been embarrassing. That would have been embarrassing. That would have been embarrassing. Okay, I don't have the item to switch its direction. I know how to switch its direction. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, this is gonna have to be where we set up home. Like, this is just too cool to pass up the opportunity to live in, like, or next to a castle. Gold truck. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie, let's consume all those nuggets of experience. I feel it as my duty to guard this village, considering I'm the one who opened the door. Um, so I might set up like a little guard tower just outside the village. That might be where my home could lay, like just out here somewhere. I gotta stick to its theme though, of oak and dark oak and like stones. That is part of the plan. Now, let's get to business. Okay, I think this is going to be the spot for it, so time to see what I can make. Oh, hello, doggy. Then I began building what would soon be my home. I would go back and forth a little bit to go and get my bed and get some extra resources, but eventually I would have what would be the basics for the house. Unfortunately, I ran out of resources, so I guess I'm going to have to finish this build next episode, which I'm pretty annoyed about. Oh my gosh, this weather is terrible and I hate that most of my build has been done during it, but I am not completed anywhere near that so far, but I think I have run out of materials. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish. That I don't think that's going to happen, which is very unfortunate because I did want to finish this build, but I, I think in true Menace Meadows fashion, 
not finishing a build is probably the best thing, because I couldn't even finish the series. I love how the eye holes of the skeleton are there, but my eyes are peeking out underneath the skull and between the thing. It's, it's just like I'm a little sneaky spy. I'm like a little penguin. Okay, but that is actually where I'm going to end off the video. I think I'm going to finish this off in the next video. So I went on a little um, adventure video. to go and grab resources make that like guard stone, tower. and I'm going to connect all these up with paths, but I don't want to get too areas. cocky and I don't want to do too much to because this is hardcore wood, after all and I don't I want to lose the world. So if you did enjoy the video, build, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe for more. And if you want to see more of this series, let me know. I will be bringing it on a fortnightly basis, maybe even weekly until I figure out what other kind of videos I want to do. But yeah, I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye.